Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. So with the current chaos of the world, with the COVID-19 outbreak and lots of people going into self-isolation, I really wanted to post a video that maybe will make you smile, but also gives you some ideas of what you can do whilst you are home, if you are stuck at home. If you're one of our courageous workers, NHS, delivery drivers, people working in the supermarket, then props to you guys and keep doing what you do. You're doing a fabulous job. So I have eight tips for you today of what you can get doing to keep yourself engaged, keep yourself busy, and hopefully not get too bored depending on how long this isolation will last for. So stay tuned. The first four tips I'm going to give you are to read, to watch, to listen and to create. So four big things that everybody should be doing anyway, just to stay mindful. But during this time off, you've got plenty of time to catch up. So for me, reading, I only recently got into reading books re last year. Uh, I'm currently working my way through uh, An Uninhabitable Earth by David Wallace Wells. It's probably not the best book I would recommend for this time at the moment. It's talking about our climate crisis. So I think I'm gonna swap myself over to what would Boudicca do? Uh, so Boudicca is an Iceni British legend, um, history. And this is just a book about those inspiring women and what their everyday problems solved. Um, so I'm hoping this will be a bit lighthearted. Um, but read anything, read a self-help book, read a book to educate yourself, or if you want to distract yourself, read some fiction. Uh, so I might actually, if I have time, I'm going to be reading The Hobbit, because I've not read that far. So alongside reading, if you get bored of your books, the second thing is to watch. I know that for myself, when I'm ill or when I have have plenty of time at home. I binge watch a lot of telly. Um, so the big one that I will definitely be re-watching is the Harry Potter series. Uh, I might have a go at Marvel Marathon, starting from the very beginning with the Hulk and moving my way through to Endgame. Um, so that should be fun. <laughs> um, and the other thing that I am currently watching on Netflix is Once, the TV, the series. Uh, it's all about fantasy and storybooks and sort of the grim style but a lot more light-hearted so there's Cinderella, Snow White, Captain Hook, all that sort of thing. The third thing that I will encourage you to do is to listen. Listen to music, listen to audiobooks or listen to podcasts. Uh, personally I like to listen to podcasts during my sort of day-to-day -day tasks anyway. I'm currently listening to Happy Place from Fern Cotton incredible podcast it's definitely a mindful one and she talks to incredible extraordinary people about their lives and how they've overcome their mental health issues or overcome some incredible feat so the other one that i like to um, listen to is deliciously ella she talks about food and your well-being and just general health um, so she's a good one to listen to as well as you can find pretty much any celebrity that does have a podcast. I like to listen to ones by Amy Schumer and ones by Ashley Graham. And the fourth one that takes us to halfway is create. And um, as you can see in the background, I'm currently working on an oil painting, a tribute. I am going to definitely be creating a lot of YouTube videos in my time off because I can do a lot of catching up and get them prepped, ready to be uploaded. I also you don't have to create art, you could be creating, pick up a model before it, one of those build your own models, bake, just do something to get yourself creative, especially if you're stuck at home with your children. Stuck at home with your children? If you are quarantined at home and your children are home from school, 
be get creative with them do some painting do some drawing get the glue gun out just have have some fun in this time off so the fifth thing i will encourage everyone to do is to get active even though the gyms might be closed and you might be stuck in your home and you might want to just chill out staying active is going to keep you fit and healthy um which i need to do more of so i will be following pop sugar fitness videos online i'm also hopefully going to be joining in with emma and beck their link will be in the description they've started a 21 day challenge they're currently stuck in morocco so they're going to be filming their workouts and getting everybody involved to join along with staying active if you can get outdoors um, I'm lucky enough to live in the middle of nowhere, so getting outdoors is pretty easy for me. Um, but when you're outdoors, there's no one around, especially if you're in a quiet area. Bring the kids to the play area, just make sure you're wiping down hands before and after, following all the NHS guidelines. And um, yeah, so I've just walked down to our village green. I'm going to take a little longer walk, take the dog for a walk. And I might <laughs> have some... Uh, outdoor exercise equipment so I might even uh, have a play on that and see how that goes. Okay, I will see you for number six. That's my bit of exercise done for today. I will do a proper workout later. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the fresh air for a little bit longer before I have to go back inside. Yeah, I'll see you back at the house. Bye. Hey, so this is number six. Uh, the, for me, it is self-love, self-care, doing those things that you know you need to keep doing to keep yourself sane um, and to really enjoy even though this is a like an awful time for everybody making the most of the fact that you've got some time to yourself um so for me it usually requires a fair amount of sort of spa stuff so paint my nails giving myself a little pedicure using the lush bath bomb i bought a year ago um but also i love a good face mask so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take this makeup off and use a mask so I just use jojoba oil. Uh, I'm actually going to double cleanse. So I'm using my Tropics cleanser, like cream cleanser. And today I'm using this Quick Fix Facials. Um, I tend to use, at the moment, I've been using a lot more cruelty-free vegan products like Tropics and Body Shop and Lush. However, I seem to have run out of all my face masks for those brands. Uh, I just found this in the back of the cupboard. So I'd rather not waste it. So it says to leave this on for five to ten minutes. I hope you appreciate the fact that this makes you smile because I never in a million years would have thought I would start YouTube, let alone start YouTube and be willing to look like this on camera. So I hope it makes you laugh. Right, I'm going to go chill out for five, ten minutes and I'm going to come back and wash this off. So I'm back. I've had this on for about five, ten minutes. So I'm just going to warm it up. And gently remove it. So I'm going to spritz my 
hose with some toner and pop some moisturiser on and I will be right back for my final two tips. So number seven is socialise. I know we've all been told to self-isolate and not go out to public spaces. That doesn't stop any of us from picking up the phone, giving a call to your friends, your family, make sure everybody's okay. Um, for me, I'm stuck at home. <laughs> I keep saying stuck at home like it's a bad thing. I'm at home with my parents and my, my our dog and my reptiles. So I'm gonna be spending a bit more time with them. And finally, for number eight, it's kind of a two in one, I threw them together. That is to catch up on old jobs and declutter. Uh, so they're kind of those two big things that you don't really wanna do, coming under sort of chores. For me, I know I'm gonna be doing the Marie Kondo, Con Marie method to declutter my bedroom. Did it last year, it was fantastic, but I've reached a point now where I need to do it again. Uh, I've also got some odd jobs around the house that need finishing, finished paintings and walls. Um, so looking forward to getting some stuff done and a good clear out is definitely needed. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. Um, I will see you next week. Stay kind to people, stay safe, follow any advice you've been given for your area and keep smiling. See you later. Bye.